Hi. So I thought I would do a quick tarot reading for the weekend or maybe just Saturday. We'll see how it goes. Um, how many cards come up um, slash tarot teaching. So let's just get started. Um, you know, right before I looked at the bottom of this and it was, uh, it was on the bottom. No, I'm forgetting. Doesn't matter. It was Eon. And uh, since I had talked about that and had come up in the higher font reading, I just thought I'd show that to you and we'd pull it out and we'd read about that. Definitely, but <laughs> I've already started shuffling, so maybe it'll come out. There's the lover's card. I'm not sure. Hang on. Let's just focus. And see what people need to know. The world. And there's something about the world card that have to type it in the description when I remember what it is. Um, let's see. Wheel of Fortune. The Two of Wands. The Knight of Pentacles. The Six of Swords, Science, Four of Swords, Truce, I've gotten both of those before, so I'm going to put them back in. Hermit, which we've gotten before. The Star, which we've gotten before. The Eight of Discs, which we've gotten before. The cards are just kind of jumping. Just go with these. Four, I'll do five though. The moon again, which we got last night. Or for Tuesday, strength, which we got for this week. The nine of wands uh, for Friday. It's Friday. Done both of these before as well. Prince of Cups and the Ten of Wands, Oppression. I mean, because I know we've gotten the Wheel of Fortune before, so. The moon again, maybe something about timing and the moon transition, um, maybe the wheel of fortune being a representation for the moon that spins around the world. Um, three of Swords. We've gotten the three of swords before. And the six of discs. Success. Let's go with success. <laughs> the eight of cups is on the bottom. I'm just going to read the ones that I know we haven't gotten before, which are 
Empire of the World. At least I'm pretty sure we haven't. Or the universe in this deck. Essential questions, synthesis, delay, completion, opposition, inertia, perseverance, patience, and crystallized thinking. Um, maybe if I just read the short definitions of these, we can go through this quicker. Wheel of Fortune. Oops. Change of Fortune, generally good. Destiny. Oftentimes in other decks, the Two of Wands, we see someone holding a small globe in their hand, looking out over what, and you know, can mean correspondence, uh, can mean um, communication in that sense, looking out over in olden days, like the territory and waiting for an answer, or thinking about sending out an answer, but it can also be like soulmates and it can mean a whole bunch of different things. But since he's holding a globe um, and dominion, it's like thinking about what you want to conquer what you want to be just what do you want to conquer that day looking through your phone because he's holding like the World Wide Web globe in his hand um, making a to-do list that kind of thing but the two of wands um, can just mean a whole lot of other things um, Minion, fire in its highest form, force of energy, harmony of power and and justice, influence, boldness, courage, fierceness, restlessness, turbulence. Um, discs. Next. Science, directed intelligence, labor, work, success after challenge, passage from difficulty, journey by water, influenced, self-centeredness, intellectual conceits. And the Say the oh the fiery part of earth. This is the prince of disc. The fiery part of earth. A farmer, patient, laborious, and clever. Somewhat dull and preoccupied with material things. Influenced, um, avaricious, surely petty, jealous. I don't know what that word is. So, um, all right. So that was your tarot reading and something about the world that I'm sure I will probably remember and then I'll have to write in the details, but it was really, I think, I think it was a good thing. So um, in any case, look for that. And I hope you enjoyed this and it brought some clarity or something to you. And have a great weekend. Bye.